RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of our television audience. We are more than happy to be here tonight on this very auspicious occasion, uh, which uh, I think is going to promise to be a, a very remarkable and exciting event tonight if uh, everything goes all right and if our cast uh, is completely assembled. A uh, few of us took a trip to New York over the weekend, and I'm afraid that some of us haven't gotten back yet. Uh, uh, Francis. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea that Madame Ogilpus would ever be riding with Beulah Witch on the broomstick, but... Nor I. They certainly aren't back yet. <clears throat> Lovely party, though. Well, I, I digress. <clears throat> tonight, as I say, is a very auspicious occasion, because tonight, the coaxial cable, which is a very important part of the television network, uh, has been uh, completed through into many of the... Uh, cities uh, in which uh, beforehand we were playing in which... Uh, let me start that again. <laughs> uh, beforehand, uh, at one time, well, we used to be playing there on kinescope recording. But tonight, as I understand it, the cable has gone through. All hail the coaxial cable. It has gone through to many uh, parts of uh, the United States where uh, before... Well, I said that. She's not here yet and upsets me because she's interrupting me. I have no idea. I hope she gets here because she's in the opening number. So we have prepared a little pageant to celebrate our, our arrival uh, live. Who's dead? That's what I like to know. Uh, but that is live, as we say in television. It's a colloquialism. Uh, into these different cities. And so uh, uh, I got together with the Kuklapolitan Pageant Committee and we uh, decided that instead of all of us entering into the same pageant, we would divide up the pageant because there were so many cities and friends and so many different cities and that each of us would take a different section of the country, a uh, different uh, city, and do it exactly our own way. And so we have... Uh, is that the telephone or 15 minutes? Tui, tui, tui. Telephone. Pardon me a moment. Well, I beg your pardon. Shouldn't be standing so close to the wings. <clears throat> Francis, I tell you, my dear, if you don't put... Stop putting cold cream on your hands when you handle this telephone. I haven't had that telephone. Well, somebody had it. I haven't even had any cold cream. I beg your pardon. Hello? Oh, good. Yes. Yes, the traffic department, NBC. Well, I'm glad. Yes, there was some confusion as to whether we were going into all the different cities or not. I'll say there was some, I am talking United States English. You better watch your language, buddy. There are parts of the country we were going into now that wouldn't like to hear that kind of talk. You bet. <coughs> Call me a Yankee. <coughs> yes. Well, I, yes, I wanted you to check it to see if we're going into all the, well, this is the traffic department, isn't it? No, we're not going anywhere. Well, heaven forbid, I don't mean that. We are going somewhere, but I mean we're not traveling. We just can't... Oh, this is the traffic department that handles the going and coming. Hmm? Well, will you mind tra uh, transferring me over to the traffic department that handles whether we're going into a different station or not? Thank you. Hello there. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, yes, my dear. It's Colonel Cracking. Oh, you have the list. Fine. Well, now, does it say whether we're going into St. Paul tonight or not? Mm. Mm. Pittsburgh? Well, my dear lady, we haven't been in Pittsburgh. What date is that? October 2nd? Oh, 1949, naturally. Just a year too late, my dear. Mm. Well, you let me know as soon as you find out. How about Omaha, Nebraska? Hmm. Well, we've got pageants forever, then. I hope we're going through to all these cities. Well, thank you very kindly. You'll let me know. Hmm. Well, you're more than welcome, my dear. 
Well, we all talk like that down there. I'll be delighted to. You. She's back. The pageant can begin. Goodbye, my dear. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, now we will start our pageant with a salute uh, to the southern states, which are first uh, 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 on our list tonight for uh, for uh, coming in uh, on the coaxial cable. Uh, uh, ladies, uh, the ladies auxiliary, uh, the ladies, uh, the ladies auxiliary, I believe, has prepared a little number, and uh, so I will turn it over to them. Of uh, Francis, uh, am I right? I don't know. I'm a little sir. confused. I'm I haven't. Confused as you. I don't even know whether we're even going out in Chicago tonight. Oh, Francis, what's happening? Well, oh my dear, I'm ready. Oh, hello, darling. Didn't we have a divine time? Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Whatever happened to Beulah? She never came to the party. I didn't even see Beulah. I didn't see Beulah either. I can't imagine. Of course, I wrote home with her, but I mean, I've never. Didn't she tell? No, I didn't think of. Tell. We're going 500 miles an hour. How could she talk? <laughs> Gracious well, how could you listen? My too. dear, I haven't had this hat off for two days, I don't believe. Well, it's a beautiful creation. You like it? Yes. Well, I have to wear it because my hair is a mess. Monsieur Joseph went somewhere else. <laughs> Honestly, it was just a fright. Just a fright. Hello, kids! Hello, <laughs> Hey, how's everything? Missed you at What's the party. What time did the party start? Hmm? Beulah, the party was Saturday. Beulah, really? Oh, that party! Well, I had a wonderful time. Sat by the punch bowl all evening. You did? They all came to me. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you, dear? What do you mean? I was at the party. Not at our party. We happened to be in a private dining room at the store club. Oh! Is that where the party was? Yes. No wonder I couldn't get my traveler's checks cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say, I didn't know that, but I met some nice people. Did you really? Great time. Simply great. Had a wonderful time. Well, I'm glad. Yes, indeed. Met an engineer there. Oh? Yes. Yes. You see this hat? Yes. You may think these are just decorations. They're not. No? New antenna. <laughs> really? You bet. Well, that's wonderful. Great time. Great time. I bet you did. I, I think the colonel's going to be terribly upset if we don't get after well, I was pretty upset the other night. I wanted to hear Miss Teoff. Sorry I missed you. We didn't get in either. What do you mean? We went to the door. I said, do you have a reservation? This was at the Versailles, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, do you have a reservation for Madame Oglepuss? Mm -hmm. They laughed in my face. They didn't. Well, they're doing good business. They don't need us. <laughs> Aren't you going to sing in the opening Come bar? On, Beulah. No, not me. No, sir. I'm a special, special tonight. Oh, are you? Yes. I'm doing, I think, a flute on the, on the Carolina, because that's my home. I see. So I'm going to do that. Well, let's so you girls do the uh, opening chorus. I'm going down and working my antenna. Can you see this all right, Madam Oglepuss? Mm -hmm. Can you see this all right? Well, I can see it. All right. Well, here we go. All right. <laughs> Come on down south, way, way down south, where the sun shines every day. Soft skies of blue, smile down on you, and all the birds are singing clear and gay. Come on along, join in the song, jump on board, it won't be long. We're on our way, hip, hip, hooray. We're going down south today. Well, sir, that was delightful. And so we uh, salute our friends uh, down in the south part of the United States. Uh, many of our friends in Atlanta, Birmingham, Jacksonville, Charlotte and Greensboro, Nashville, Louisville, my gracious, a whole great wonderful list. But... Pardon me. Yes? Thank you. Well, we're not so sure about Louisville, Kentucky, but we'll check on that later. Well, sir, here we all are. We certainly are having a wonderful time, aren't we, Jackson? Saluting Thank all you. these wonderful new stations that are, well, they're not new. We're new. No, we're not new. We're live. I'm living. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colonel, what happens next? Colonel, what happens next? I don't know. Don't ask me. Brian, Brian, are you all set for the big... Uh, I have my salute to Kansas City. Oh, to Kansas City, that's wonderful. And I'm going to do uh, uh, the Missouri Wall. Oh, wonderful. Brian. And I have a kind of a little ballet written, and I uh, want to do an uh, interpretive dance. Wonderful Brian. connection with it. Oh, over the Missouri Wall. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're ready for me to start. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Jack. 
Mr. Mann. I'll get it. No, never mind. Hello? Mm-hmm. Well, Harry will be disappointed. <laughs> well, all right, let me know if they go through. You bet. Goodbye. Oh? Well, tell me the worst. Kansas City's not on tonight. What about my number? I don't... No, Fran, I'm not writing this pageant. I wouldn't want to... I'd like you to do it, but I think it would be a little silly, and I think maybe you ought to save it for when Kansas City does go on. Why don't you try something else? Is there anything... What, what are some of the other cities that the... Colonel? Well, there's Louisville. How about that, uh, Miss Allison? I'll take Louisville. That's fine. You can do a nice song on that, Fran. Well, let me see now. What am I... Oh, uh, well, uh, uh... Well, I'm not supposed to be up. I, I'm not in this part of the pageant. All right, now, we're going to have a very wonderful pageant uh, that's being prepared by Cecil Bill and Fletcher Rabbit, uh, which uh, we gave them uh, the cities of Omaha and Indianapolis, and they are going to do the pageant together. <coughs> Thank you, Colonel Cracky. <coughs> <laughs> no doubt <coughs> you wonder why I have this headgear on. Well, sir, it is because Cecil Bill and I have decided to combine our efforts uh, in our salute to these various cities which are on the cable. <coughs> uh, I long have studied uh, uh, different rhythms and dances of uh, the Indians and also of the Indian rabbits. And so tonight, uh, I'm going to bring the, some of them uh, to you in honor of Indianapolis, Indiana, which I think is a pr pretty good tie-in, don't you think so, Fran? Yes. Yeah. And Omaha, Nebraska. So uh, my cohort and friend Chief of the Rhythm Section, Mr. Cecil Bill. <laughs> this is an interesting rhythm. Please listen. That's one of the primitive rhythms. The very primitive rhythms. <laughs> now we will get into something more complicated and try a little of the dancing. All right. <laughs> Ah, how, 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 What happened? Indianapolis is not on, and they're not sure about Omaha. <laughs> Which part did you have? Well, I'll go on with the Indianapolis part then. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> Well, sir, <clears throat> perhaps I, uh, I'm not, I won't continue my dancing, but perhaps I can tell you just a little bit about um, the Indian uh, the folk uh, uh, stories, uh, something about Indiana and Indianapolis, <clears throat> and the great part that Indians played uh, in the settling of the... Well, sir, would you believe it? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Fran! Yes? Fran! Yes. You got it all ready? Well, I, I have really haven't it quite all finished, but I thought... Colonel Cracky just fainted. Oh, poor soul. I thought I'd do a, a setting of uh, our old folks at home. Oh, that'd be nice. And uh, I'm working on a costume now, but I'll have it ready any minute. Well, uh, wouldn't you like to do it now, or do you want to wait for the costume? Well, I'll go and get my costume. Oh, all right. Because I think we really should move along, my gracious. I'm, I'm kind of upset because we don't have half the cities, you know. I don't understand just what could have happened. I could do one on St. Paul. No, I couldn't do one on St. Paul. I could do one on Duluth, Minnesota. But it usually is one that Ollie does. Maybe St. Paul wouldn't mind if I did it. It goes, Duluth, 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 Minnesota. Bas Kalnya, ha. Glutfisk, Glutfisk, ya, ya, ya. Your pronunciation was very bad. Oh, I don't know Swedish very well. Besides, it wasn't right because it wasn't. Hello? Hello? 
Oh, I'm all ready. It didn't matter about St. Paul or not on. No? <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead, Fran. Well, I'm all ready. I, <clears throat> I thought I would uh, be playing a mandolin, and I wanted a setting, uh, kind of an old plantation type. But we're out of plantations today, so I uh, won't be able to do that. However, I think, uh, could, did you bring the harp today, Jack? No, I didn't. No harp? No harp. Well, wait a minute. Francis, my dear. Francis. I'm looking for a harp. You going to do Louisville uh, salute? Yes, I thought oh. I would. My tie's all cut up. I'm really, really kind of upset. Are you true? Yeah. Uh, I like it. Everything's going all right. Uh, Beulah's going to do the North Carolina pageant. You go oh. ahead and... Well, no, let her go first if she wants no, to. It's a... oh. Oh, <coughs> no, it's better let her do it while they're in. <laughs> Hello, hello, Western Union. Mm. Thank you. Pretty quick uh, trip we made to Kentucky. Oh. And out. Not Open in. Open one and close in the alley. Well, all right. Oh, I'll wait a minute, it. Francis. Now you look so lovely. I, I wish you could do something. You look so kind of sweet and. Maybe I can. I have an idea for you. You look awful sweet, kind of like a little southern girl I used to know down uh, down south. A little. Girl who wore a sunbonnet like that? Really? Yeah, she protected her lovely complexion that way. Well, honestly, all southern gentlemen are like you. I I'm for them. You are, my dear. <laughs> kind of an old southern custom to be polite yeah. and gentlemanly. It's an old <laughs> southern custom when you're walking down the street to bid everyone good morning. Don't you think that's kind of sweet? And it's an old southern custom to politely lift your hat when you pass a pretty stranger. Is there anything wrong in that? When a lady meets a gentleman as they did in days colonial and the lady and the gentleman have intentions matrimonial if they must be together every morning noon and night there's a good old southern custom that makes everything all right thank you my dear you're welcome that Michael. makes me feel much better well why don't you i know the davenport i was on now i was your home state well, I don't have any song for Davenport. Why don't you work up a little, uh, little elocution piece or something like that? Well, I'll try. Will you try, my dear? I will. Thank you kindly. Well, sir, now we are going on to uh, something. Uh, I just came up to remind you that no matter what part of the country we're playing in, we have to do something very important at this particular moment. Well, what's that? Do you forget where your bread and butter comes from? Well, no, as a matter of fact, I don't. I remember very well. RCA, Victor. <laughs> Would you like to take the floor? Someone else took it last week. <laughs> no, no, Fletcher, don't be so literal. Uh, would you like to take over? Well, sir, I am no speech maker. I know, I don't know. I just speak honestly and sincerely. And uh, there are a great many people in, uh, in this country that I... Uh, that I like to talk to, but uh, gracious sakes, I'm no speech maker. I like to, to I, the way I do it is just I like to think I'm talking to one person and speak that way. Well, why don't you just, uh, just figure you're talking to one person tonight? Because as far as I can tell from the reports that have been coming in by telephone, Jack Fashionado is the only one that's watching the show. <laughs> why don't you tell him? Well, I certainly will, but he already has an RCA Victor 45 RPM record playing attachment. 45J plays only within distortion free quality zone, silent sapphire permanent point pickup world, simplest, surest changer. Did you do all that in one breath? <laughs> oh, I have remarkable control. Well, just tell him anyway, because I think he'd like to hear it again. Would you, Jack? I would, Fletcher. Thank you. You're a very kind and honest fellow. You're more than welcome. <clears throat> Well, sir, Jack, you, uh, you do have an RCA Victor 45 RPM record playing attachment. 45J plays only within distortion, free quality zone, silent sapphire, permanent point, pickup world, simplest, surest, changer, non-breakable, plastic records, easy on storage space. I got two more sentences in on that one. <laughs> Don't you? I do. <laughs> well, then, you know. 
Well, gracious sake, then you have a must have a wonderful collection of 45 records. I have a, a very uh, a large amount of them. Naturally. Well, my gracious sakes, then you must know. You must know how the little 45 records cost up to one quarter less than ordinary ones and, well, how many thousands of titles to choose from. Why, gracious sakes, you know all that, and I know little Tony and Tina at home. Tony and Tina are Jack's the little girls at home. I know that they have a great collection of RCA Victor Children's records. Yes, indeed. And do they have their own little RCA Victor 45 RPM record playing attachment? 45J plays only within distortion tree, three quality zone, silent, sapphire, permanent point, pick up, world. <coughs> Very Pick up. Hmm? Oh, you weren't through. No, not I'm quite. Sorry. Well, if they have their very own. Isn't that nice? Well, thank you, gracious sakes. <laughs> Cecil Bill, you're certainly a, rab a man right after my own heart. <laughs> well, then, you know how, 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 I don't know why I'm talking about this, because everybody in the entire country knows what a wonderful, wonderful little instrument this is. You know, Cecil Bill, could I tell you about it? Sweet! You got two more words in than I did. Very good. Oh, I know. Twelve dollars and ninety-five cents, including a current record a month for six months and a six-month subscription to the Pictured Record Review. Oh, I know. Charles will tell us about that after all. After, after the show. And could you say one of the little slogans for us? Freely translated, the RCA Victor 45 is all play and no work. Well, I guess we're ready for... Oh, dear me. Francis? Yes? Are, are you ready for... Your part? You going to do your song now about uh, the I have no song. No, oh. I, that's oh. out. Oh, sorry. Old folks at home are nowhere, too. Oh, well, go ahead. This is a poem about Davenport, Iowa. Old Davenport, close to Moline. Rock Island, too, is near the scene. We welcome you unto the cable. To see us live, you will now be able. Up to now, we've been on Kinney, or so I've heard from my Aunt Minnie. <laughs> you have one? No, but nothing else rhymes with Kinney that I could think of. Okay. Well, we're all set for our part now. All right, good. Yeah. The next part of the pageant <clears throat> depicts uh, a great southern scene. We are doing a tableau called The Spirit of Cotton. This was shipped to Air Express right from Atlanta. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, you all, little cotton plant. <coughs> I have something to say to you. Little cotton plant rooted deep, how much longer must you sleep? Awake and flit about like a little moth, for soon you are to be made into yards of cloth. The end. <laughs> okay. Fran, aren't you going to do the next? Oh, no, Beulah Witch. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be back. All right. Beulah! Beulah! Come on, it's time for the Carolina salute. You bet! You bet! Well, man, I got my feathers off. Grand! Well, sir, that's my home territory. Carolina! Yes, sir! I'm going to sing a song now, Jack. Oh, can't you hear me calling Caroline? Caroline! Come in, Caroline. What? Just a bit till I get the do-all. <laughs> Getting a message through my hat. Getting a message from Caroline, Francis. Good. Yeah. Do-all set up here. Just a minute, Jack. We'll go, on. we'll go on with the song. Whoops! Oh, 
Well, I can reach the key. Come in, Caroline. Can't you hear me calling? <laughs> Had to do that. Couldn't resist. music. We're not in Charlotte, we're not in Greensboro. Oh well. <laughs> I don't mind. Hold still, honey. That's it, baby. Down, girl. Francis? Yes? Yeah. What happened to Beulah? I don't know. She went somewhere on the do-all. Or in it, I should say. Hmm. What are you made up for? I was doing a Southern pageant, but we're not in Charlotte, we're not in Greensboro, we're not in Louisville, we're not in... Who knows where the cable goes? Well, why don't we just kind of send out a feeler and find out? Should we try? Let's do. All right. Oh, you folks down in Atlanta, are you getting our show today? Tell us Birmingham and Jacksonville, are we coming down your way? Are we getting into Louisville and Kansas City mode? If you're seeing us in Omaha, please tell us how's the show. Hey there, Nashville, are we getting through to Lee? When you get us on the cable, won't you please RSVP? Mom. Any reports yet? Not yet. Well, maybe they'll come in. I hope We're so. a little slow getting down there. Maybe we'll be a little slow getting reports. Oh, I'm kind of upset. Are my, you? Well, my part in the pageant was much longer. Actually, I was supposed to be the spirit of cotton. Miss Cotton of 1950, you see, and I was to come down on a, on a boat, you see, down the river, on oh. a big flat boat, see, and, uh, and uh, there were going to be uh, 500 people playing uh, banjos. There were? Yeah. And then Kukla was to come in uh, holding the cotton bush, and, well, you saw what happened. We had to cut it short. Well, I'm sorry. I am, too, because this is a... I, it's not often that I get into my hoops. <laughs> into your what? Hoops. Like a hoop skirt time. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're very lovely, huh? I wrestle, too. Yes, you do. <laughs> I, I like the real you better, though. You know what I like to say? What's that? Welcome to everybody who's on the cable. I'm sorry we don't know just who everybody is, but one message you can always take for granted and remember? Oh, yes. In television, it's RCA. Victor. When you buy an RCA Victor 45 automatic record changer, you'll get your choice of a Pops, Kitty, or Classical 45 record each month for six months. You'll also receive a six-month subscription to Picture Record Review, the magazine of record news. See your RCA Victor dealer and get an RCA Victor 45 record changer, the bonus book for six hit records, plus the subscription to Picture Record Review, all for just $12.95. This offer is good only in the continental United States. For the best in records, it's RCA Victor. This is Bert Hilstrom thanking you on behalf of Kukla and all the gang. Good night. <laughs> RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Ask your RCA Victor dealer for your record coupon book tomorrow. Kukla Fran and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.